Welcome to the lesson on ventricular fibrillation and pulseless ventricular tachycardia. In this video, we'll discuss ventricular fibrillation and pulseless ventricular tachycardia and the rules to recognize each of them. Ventricular fibrillation, or VF, and pulseless ventricular tachycardia, or VT, are life-threatening cardiac rhythms that result in ineffective ventricular contractions. VF is a rapid quivering of the ventricular walls that prevents them from pumping. The ventricular motion of VF is not synchronized with atrial contractions. VT is a condition in which the ventricles contract more than 100 times per minute. The emergency condition, pulseless VT, occurs when ventricular contraction is so rapid that there is no time for the heart to refill, resulting in undetectable pulse. In both cases, individual is not receiving adequate blood flow to the tissues. Despite being different pathological phenomena and having different ECG rhythms, the ACLS management of VF and VT are essentially the same. Resuscitation for VF and pulses VT starts with a BLS survey. An AED reads and analyzes the rhythm and determines if a shock is needed. The AED is programmed to only prompt the user to shock VF and VT rhythms. The machine does not know if the individual has a pulse or not. This is the primary reason you should not use an AED in someone with a palpable pulse. ACLS responses to VF and pulses VT within a hospital will likely be conducted using a cardiac monitor and a manual defibrillator. VF and pulses VT are both shockable rhythms. The AED cannot tell if the individual has a pulse or not. Thus, as an ACLS provider, you must read and analyze the rhythm. Only deliver shocks for VF and pulses VT. Likewise, you may use antiarrhythmic drugs and drugs to support blood pressure. The rules for VF include the regularity to have no shape of the QRS complex because all electrical activity is diagnosed. The rate appears rapid, but the disorganized electrical activity prevents the heart from pumping. There are no P waves or PR intervals present, and the ventricle complex varies. The rules for VT include RR intervals to be usually, but not always, regular. The atrial rate cannot be determined. Ventricular rate is usually between 150 to 250 beats per minute. QRS complexes are not preceded by P waves. There are occasionally P waves in the strip, but they are not associated with the ventricular rhythm. PR interval is not measured since this is a ventricular rhythm. QRS complex measures more than 0.12 seconds. The QRS will usually be wide and bizarre. It's usually difficult to see a separation between the QRS complex and the T wave. The rules for Tossa de Point, which is irregular wide complex tachycardia, include no regularity. The atrial rate cannot be determined. Ventricular rate is usually between 150 and 250 beats per minute. There are no P waves or PR intervals present, and the ventricle complex varies. This concludes our lesson on ventricular fibrillation and pulseless ventricular tachycardia. Next, we'll review pulseless electrical activity and asystole.